We're doing lesson 8 today in Razor Arithmetic. And if you remember from lesson 7, we started practicing our counting using some cherries that I brought over from the kitchen. Well, we've got our five cherries here that we left off with. So we're just going to pick it up where we left off. We got five. Remember how we were adding and taking away from these. Okay, so we've got these for five cherries that we're going to start with today. And what I want to do is I'm going to get another one and add it to these five. So we've got five. And we're going to add 1. So 5 and 1 makes how many? It makes 6. All right. That means how many 1s do we have in 6? Do we have 6 1s in 6? Yes, we do. Okay. So 6 times 1 is 6. All right. Let's do a couple of things here. Hmm. How about, um, let's see. 1 and 5 makes how many? 6. All right, how about 2 2 and 4? That makes how many? That makes 6. How about 3 and 3? Does that still make 6? Yeah, it does. How about 4 and 2. What is that? Does that make 6? about 5 and 1? Yep, that still makes 6. Okay. Well, let's see. How many... Let's do this. How many 2's are there in 6? How many do you see there? 3? Yeah, there are three twos and six. Well, let me ask you this. How many threes are in six? Two, right. Okay, good. Well, let's see here. So we got these six cherries, right? If I can get them from wobbling around. Okay, so we got six. What happens if we take one of these cherries away? We had six, we take away one... How many do we have left? Five? All right. So we got our six cherries. What happens when we take away two? How many do we have left? We've got four. All right, so with our six cherries, what happens if we take away three? We got six, we take away three, that leaves how many? That leaves three about we got our six cherries here and we take away four that leaves how many that leaves two so we got our six cherries how about we take away four of them oh, excuse me five how many do we have left one lonely little cherry okay Alright, so we got our six cherries here back. How about we add another one to it? Oop, this one's trying to get away. How about we add one more? So we got six, and we add one. So six and one makes how many? Is that seven? Yeah, that's seven. Alright. So how many ones are there in seven? How many do you see here? I think we've got seven ones in seven, don't we? All right, so seven times one is seven. Okay. All right, let's do a couple of things here. Hmm. How many are one and six? Can you see six there? They're kind of clustered up. One and six makes seven. How many are... 2 and 5. Well, that makes 7 too. How many are 3 and 4? Is that still 7? All right. How many are 4 and 3? That's still 7. How many are 5 and 2? 5 and 2 is still 7. How many are 6 and 1? 
Six and one make seven. Okay. Well, let's see. We got our seven. Let's add one more to it. So we got seven cherries here. Here comes another one. So seven and one makes how many? Eight. Okay. So how many ones do we have in eight? Get them all separated. How many ones are there? There are eight ones. Yeah, so eight times one is eight. All right. Okay. Um, let's do this. We got one. We got seven over here. So one and seven makes how many? Eight all together. Okay. How about two and six? Two and six makes eight. How about three and five? Three and five makes how many? That's eight. Um, how about four and four? Four and four, that makes eight. How about five and three? How many do five and three make? Well, that makes eight. How about, let's put it over here. Six and two, how many is that? Six and two make eight? That it does. About seven and one. Does that still make eight? Yes, it does. Okay, let's just check a couple of things here. Uh-oh, we got two trying to escape. Let's do this. So, I'll just kind of put them like this. So, got them in groups of two, right? Kind of paired up. How many twos are there in eight? How many do you see there? Do you see four? Yep, there are four twos in eight. Mm. How many fours are there in eight? There are two fours in eight, aren't there? Okay. Let's see. If we've got these eight, how about we take one of them away? How many are left? Is that seven? All right. Well, if we have our eight cherries, let's say we take away two. How many are left? We've got six. So we've got our eight cherries. How about we take away three? How many do we have left? Is that five? It is. Okay, so with our eight cherries, let's say we take away four. We had eight, we take away four. How many are left? That's four. Okay. So eight cherries. Okay, let's get a little bit greedier. We take five. Eight, we take away five. That leaves us how many? Three. Okay. So we got eight cherries. How about we take away six? Eight, and we take away six, that leaves how many? That leaves two. Okay, we're going to get really greedy now. We got eight, eight cherries there, and we're just going to take seven of them. So we had seven, and we're taking eight. Excuse me, we're <laughs> we had eight, and we're taking seven. How many does that leave? That leaves one. One little old cherry. Okay, you getting the idea of how we can work with numbers and how we count things and add and subtract and come up with different answers. All right, we'll do some more of this in our next lesson. Okay, so until then, we'll see you.